Hello traders, today is November 6th, the day after the election, it's over, let's focus, let's get back on track with trading. We had some great signals, some great trades yesterday during the election, and there's some free classes also that we have posted on YouTube, I'll put the links in the video description. Now before we begin, remember that trading is risky, please don't trade with funds, you can't afford to lose. Now we're looking at today, the day after the election, the market is very strong i waited a little bit until the market calmed down a little bit huge rally and now we have the market coming down a little bit and we have a signal here actually a few signals here and they are focusing on entering to the long side so i want to go long at 59 30 50 uh, or better and the way that we do this is we use limit orders we also take a look to make sure that the target hasn't already been hit. So in this case, the target hasn't been hit as of yet. So 59.30, 50, 59.30 quarter, if you try to get a tick better. So what we're doing is we're realizing first that there's a signal. The sonic trading system gives me a signal. And then I have the target and the stop automatically placed for me. So I know what the risk is. I know what the target is. You can increase the target. You can increase the, the stop. You can adjust that. We have a lot of settings uh, included with this, but I'm using the defaulted setting, which is one times the ATR. So in this case, we're looking at about four points. So four points is actually a pretty big target. That's about $200 per trade. So it's $200 per E-mini. If you're doing multiple contracts, you just multiply that by $200. So it's very simple. The other thing is I want to be cautious and wait a moment before jumping in. So we're not using market orders. We are always looking to use limit orders, trying to get this exact price or better. So that's exactly how it works. We include a live trading room so we can see these signals live, ask questions, especially for the new traders. If you're new to trading, you're able to understand how this works. We're using price action. Price action trading is really, really important. So as I said, 59.30, 50, I'm getting into the market at 59.31 quarter using a limit order. Okay. Remember, the entry is 59.30.50. So now what we what do we do? What are we looking at? How do we manage the trade? So it's very simple. Typically, when you're in a trade, you want to see the market go in your favor as soon as possible. You don't want to see it last an hour and nothing is happening. So it's important to understand time in relationship to price action. The next thing we're going to look at is how far away the stop is in comparison to how far away the target is. It should not be such a lopsided situation where you're risking, as an example, 10 points where you're going to lose 10 points and you're only making one or two. We're really trying to avoid that scenario so the risk to reward ratio has to be implemented and you can choose the trades that you want to take you can skip the trades as you can see we have a lot of trades here so we're not grasping at trades and waiting all day for one signal we have many signals so that means that we can pick and choose the trades that we want now as the target gets hit here remember you're now flat what's called a closed position you're no longer in a position long, we are flat, which means we're looking for the next trade. For some traders, they only want to take one trade per day. Others want to take two or three trades per day. In this video, I'm going to take three consecutive trades here in a row to show you what happens, whether they're winners or losers. There's three consecutive trades in a row. I recommend two to three trades a day, stop, take a break, and then if you want to trade in, um, in an hour after, that's great. But two to three trades, if you're up, especially with a uh, higher volatility here, you can absolutely be up four, five, six hundred dollars with just one contract on a few trades. So you don't have to push it. All right, we have another signal here, 59, 35, 75. This is a long trade. That dashed or hashed line in yellow that you see, that is a filter. Any uh, signal that appears above that should be long. Any signal that appears below that will be short. So that's a filter that you can implement. I have the defaulted settings on the filter. And so again, remember, I'm not rushing into this. Every candle is one minute in length. You don't have to rush in with market orders. We see a signal 59, 35, 75. As a matter of fact, if I want to, wanted to enter long right here as a buyer, I'm getting in at a better price. So why not enter at a better price? in comparison to the original signal. Now for this example, 
I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to let this trade run out. I'm going to let this trade continue for as long as it needs to in order for it to achieve a, a buy or a stop. And the reason why I'm doing this is because in this particular example, every trade is different. Remember, every single trade is is not the same. Some targets are hit faster. Some targets and stops are hit. Uh, it takes longer. But what I want to show you is and explain to you is that with time, remember, time is really important for traders. Time is what we're seeing here. If every candle is valued at one minute, look how many minutes has passed and the market is not going in your favor. So typically, when you think about a trade that you enter, you always say to yourself, I enter for a reason and I want to see an immediate result that goes in my favor. But you see how long this trade, it's a long trade, is taking for it to do anything. It's almost as if it's flip-flopping and chopping around. The reason why this is important for you to understand this is because if you have an opportunity to take a trade long or short and it's just going sideways, as part of trade management, you should consider exiting the trade at break even or exiting the trade at um, at a small loss or a small win, right? Because it seems as if you entered and nothing's happening. It's just, just dragging on, flip-flopping. You're, it's going a little bit in your favor and then a little bit against you, a little bit in your favor, a little bit against you. That's exactly what's happening. The market is stuck. Now, for whatever reason, actually, I know the reason. The mentorship students know the reason. This is part of an X5 trade right here. So, uh, I know exactly why this is happening for the mentorship students. You can message me and, and let me know why, uh, you know that this is happening as part, as part of the X5 method. For those of you who know, you know, this is the day trade to win family of traders that teaches price action. And this is absolutely an X5 trade. Now, what you're seeing here is me entering long. I'm long at about the same price to signal occurred. Actually, I got a tick better. I could have gotten so much better. I could have gotten 59.32, 59.33, and that would have been a really small and tight stop compared to the the target at 59.39 quarter. That's still a good four points, $200. That's four points on a trade. What does that mean? It means that if the trade loses, I'm going to lose about four points. If the trade wins, I'm going to make about four points. And this is now just going sideways. Let's see what happens. I'm actually curious to see if the Sonic trade that occurred at exactly 1143, I think, 1144, 1143 AM, New York time. Remember, everyone who's using the Sonic should have the same exact signal, whether you're using the trading view or the Ninja Trader version. But let's see what happens here with this uh, signal, if it actually hits the target. Remember, I'm always recommending as part of trade management that you don't hold on to positions for for example an hour so this trade happening at about 11:35, let's say is already way beyond it's about half hour into this i think this is way beyond what we can consider a a good trade this is not a good trade this trade here is a situation where it's taking too long for it to follow through take this trade because I want to show you three exact trades in a row we could have got a better price which I always recommend I always recommend if you can take a better price smaller stop larger profit target right in relationship to that risk to reward I talked about earlier so you could have got a better price but I'm taking this exact trade as the the signal projected for the sonic because I know my traders are taking these signals I want to be able to replicate the exact results that you're getting now I sped this up here a little bit because I want to save some time. I don't want to waste anyone's time watching this to see the result. But finally, the signal, the trade, the sonic is going in our favor and the target is hit. Again, I have to stress that every example is different. Every trade is different. There's a few things that we could do that are almost like steps or a bullet point. The target and the stop first and foremost what's the risk to reward ratio for that target and that stop 
in this case it's about equal the risk and the reward is about equal second can I get a better entry so if you're able to get a better entry that just improves the risk to reward ratio that's the second point or bullet number two number three I want to be able to manage the trade once I'm in the trade if I see that this is taking too long sure you can do what I did here and just hold out if it's going to hit the target, it'll hit the target. If it's going to hit the stop, it's going to hit the stop. Just hold on to it, and you're holding on for dear life, it seems, for being in a trade this long, almost uh, an hour, maybe 40 or 50 minutes. That's just way too long. But I wanted to show you three consecutive trades in a row using the Sonic system, getting as close as possible to the price that the Sonic system is telling me as an example to show you what the system can do and the outcome. All right, now we have a new trade here, 59.33 quarter. I'm not going to waste any time. I'm just going to get in here at 59.33 quarter or better. Remember, the idea is to give it a moment. You see how I'm not jumping into this trade. I'm giving it a clear minute to realize if I can get in at a better price or at least the exact price. So I want everybody to understand that we're not rushing in with market orders. 59.33 quarter or better. And once I'm filled, what I'm going to do next is realize that the target is much larger than the stop. Or actually, I should know that beforehand. The target is much larger than the stop. And that way, this makes for a very good trade. So if you look at this, the target is larger. Risk to reward ratio makes sense. How long am I going to be in this trade? I don't know yet. I have to get filled. I want to make sure that I manage this accordingly. There's no news events that are happening. Uh, I'm filled this being 59.32.75. This is another about $200, maybe a little bit less than $200. And uh, that way I know exactly the profit that I'm making and what the stop is. You don't have to have large accounts. You can use a micro contract on the NASDAQ, micro contracts on the E-mini, micro contracts on the oil. I'm using an E-mini S&P, which I want everyone to slowly, you know, as you practice and understand and join our live trading room where we show the Sonic and we teach you exactly how this is traded properly. Um, after you practice, then you can start with a micro and then go on to trading E-minis and then you can trade one, two, three, four. So for example, if I just wanted $150 and I'm trading three contracts three contracts right i'm making already three or four hundred dollars just on that position so on one trade how many trades do you need do you need three trades or four trades no you could just probably need one or two and you're stopping and you're ending the day so this is a great example of three consecutive trades in a row remember we are going to have losing trades so it's normal that you may have a loss but as long as you manage the trade with the risk reward ratio and you understand what you're doing, you ask questions and you practice first, this is the best way of trading price action using the Sonic system. If you have any questions, visit daytradetowin.com, sign up for a free member account. Have a great day and I'll see everyone in class. Want to learn more? Visit daytradetowin.com and get started with a free member account, which includes access to our trials, including the ABC software. Start learning the right way by using price action and avoid using conventional indicators. We offer unique strategies and proprietary software, including the Sonic system. Join Accelerated Mentorship and get instant access to all our software. Let's get you set up in the next training.